If you like The Lord of the Flies, both a movie and a book, then you're going to love The Maze Runner. Both a book and a little bit more, the movie itself. The director, Wes Ball, admitted himself that The Maze Runner is Lord of the Flies meets Lost. Let's see for ourselves if and how much he was right about this one. Number 1. Believe it or not, the production had to hire professional snake wranglers to make sure the field where they were to make the movie is snake-free. Before filming began, these wranglers caught more than 25 venomous snakes. The most impressive one they caught was a 5-foot rattlesnake. Number 2. In order to prepare for shooting, director Wes Ball asked from the cast to spend a night in the Glade set, for real. In addition, the cast spent the week before production by participating in survival training in the Glade. They had a unique chance of learning how to build tools and shelter only from the things available around them. Yet, the filmmakers never tested the cast members' physical abilities, for example, making them run or jump before the shoot. They believed in them, obviously. Number 3. To win the role of Chuck, actor Blake Cooper restlessly campaigned for an audition via Twitter. The rumor has it that he would send director Wes Ball tweet after tweet after tweet, repeating the same thing that he was made for the role. Wes Ball eventually told Cooper to attend the audition. The most amazing thing is that the casting director stated Cooper was the perfect Chuck. Number 4. The film was shot in just 44 days. Having in mind that this movie earned almost $400 million at the domestic box office, this is quite an achievement. Actually, the director, Wes Ball, initially met with Fox Studios to direct a feature-length version of his short film, Ruin. However, they offered him the chance to direct The Maze Runner, and he accepted with no hesitation. On the other hand, Wes Ball worked with a concept artist in Belgium to create the concept artwork for the film. Wes has never met him or spoke to him, aside from in emails and IMs. That's really hard to believe. Number 5. Did you know that Dylan O'Brien's hairstyle almost cost him the main role of Thomas? Why? Well, because director Wes Ball believed it was too MTV. Eventually, he reconsidered when he got a photo of O'Brien without his hair gelled. After that, Dylan O'Brien had only four days to read the book before filming began. On the other side, as a result of this new acting commitment, Dylan O'Brien's character in Teen Wolf was unconscious for most of the episode Lunar Eclipse in order for him to finish filming The Maze Runner. Number 6. It's an interesting fact that almost all the characters' names are taken from historical figures, such as famous inventors, mathematicians, philosophers, or scientists, in order to illustrate their intelligence, which was a great deal in the novel. So let's begin. Thomas, Thomas Edison, Albie, Albert Einstein, Newt, Isaac Newton, Chuck, Charles Darwin, Galley, Galileo, Teresa, Mother Teresa, Winston, Winston Churchill, Ben, Benjamin Franklin, and Frypan, who is also called Siggy, Sigmund Freud. What about Mino? Author James Dashner has said that he is not named after anyone famous, but actually according to his niece's Korean husband's name. The novel also included other celebrity characters, such as Aris, Aristotle, and Harriet, Harriet Tubman. The notorious WCKD itself is pronounced as wicked, because in the book, the acronym was WICKED, which stands for World in Catastrophe Kill Zone Experiment Department. Number 7. Producer Wick Godfrey got the top-class casting advice from his three boys. He would actually show his kids the audition materials and get their honest feedback. His kids were the great fans of the books. No wonder Wes Ball and Wick Godfrey's names were written on the Glade and name wall. Only a true fan can do such a thing, can't he? Number 8. Did you know that Kaya Scodelario's favorite day on set ever was when she spent almost an entire day shooting on top of a tree with O'Brien? She said that they really enjoyed it when they spent time together as actors and had a unique chance of being able to know each other better. Yet, boys will be boys. Dylan O'Brien's favorite scene was the wrestling duel with Will Poulter. How unromantic indeed. Number 9. According to the book, the walls of the maze were considerably taller, which is the main reason why the gladers weren't able to climb on top of it. In addition, the maze finds itself under the dome. The sky and the weather are therefore all artificial. Also, according to the books, the gladers know their names as soon as they first come up. Therefore, they don't need a few days to come to them. Talking about the similarities between the book and the movie, the novel features the gladers' own slang, including words such as shank, shuck, clunk, greeny, slinthead, shuckface, and others. The film also uses a few here and there. Will Poulter, Gally, and Ki Hong Lee, Mino, shared their favorites, Will's being Shank and Ki Hong's being Shuck. Number 10. The first scene where Scodelario's character arrives in the middle of the glade surrounded by 30 boys. 
is actually the very first scene she shot. It's worth mentioning that the production used over 18 acres of land on a local farm for filming. The farm itself has 200 acres. Here are more impressive numbers associated with the movie production. The crew got 36 setups made in the first day of shooting. One day it was raining so heavily, they lost six hours to rebuild the setups. Sometimes they were shooting with three cameras at the same time. Number 11. In the first Maze Runner movie, Thomas Brody Sangster is the only actor who also played in the Game of Thrones HBO series. The character he plays in the Game of Thrones is called Jojen Reed. Thomas Brody Sangster admitted in an interview that the maze itself could have been easily solved if the Gladers had simply constructed a ladder. It's easy for him to say with all those special Game of Thrones powers. Number 12. Chuck's death was actually the first Maze Runner scene filmed. Dylan O'Brien said that this was the most difficult scene to film. However, in the book, Gally is previously captured by a griever and taken to the Wicked. According to the book, it's under the control of Wicked he tries to kill Thomas, but instead kills Chuck with a knife, not with a gun. And then Thomas attacks him and beats him unconscious before the other Gladers arrive to rescue them. Why? Because he plays an important role in the later books. Number 13. In the book, the Grievers attack and take the Gladers one by one every night, instead of attacking them all at once like they did in a film. Also in the book, the secret code used to leave the maze is found from the old maze maps used by the runners, according to the sequence Float, Catch, Bleed, Death, Stiff, and Push. Actually, Teresa finds out this and shares it with Thomas, not Mino. At the very end of the first movie, the maze is shown in a vast desert, but in the books, the maze is actually hidden underground. Number 14. In the book, when the Gladers leave the maze and get into the Wicked facility, everyone is still alive and Gally is with them, although he's been previously kidnapped. Gally is then remotely controlled by the Wicked scientists to use a knife, not the gun, against Thomas. Chuck then sacrifices himself in order to rescue Thomas. Then the alleged rescue team arrives, kills all of the Wicked scientists, and moves the Gladers to a safe hold. In the movie, Gally was never kidnapped. He just suddenly appears at Wicked, and all of the scientists are already dead. Number 15. The ending of the first movie is actually the beginning of the second part. At the end of the film, the author of the book, James Dashner himself, makes a cameo appearance as one of the board's people. It is the famous scene at the end where Dr. Ava Page is talking and the camera zooms on her. The man on her right is actually James Dashner. Number 16. Movie Mistake Alert Although the movie takes place for at least three years before Thomas arrives, in a quiet, isolated, post-apocalyptic world, all the boys in the Glade have professional-looking hairstyles. Therefore, we're free to classify this mistake as the Justin Bieber mistake. You know why, don't you? Number 17. Originally, the studio adopted a wait-and-see policy for giving a green light on a sequel depending on how the first movie does at the box office. However, no more than two weeks before the premiere of the first movie, the sequel was good to go thanks to the publicity and reviews, which were overwhelmingly good. Number 18. In the books, there was only more maze with all the girls in it. In the movie, as you know, there's an indication of multiple mazes, with both boys and girls. The director Wes Ball admitted that the movie diverged from the book quite a bit, but the good news is he'll be back on track in the third sequel, called The Death Cure. Number 19. In the film, the Cranks are presented as zombies, but in the book, they're nothing more than ordinary people who have gone insane as a result of a disease. The flare itself does not kill you immediately, but slowly makes you go rapidly insane until you lose control completely. Number 20. The actors in the second Maze Runner movie, Thomas Brody Sangster, Aidan Gillen, and Natalie Emmanuel, acted in Game of Thrones. The interesting thing is that they did not meet until filming of the Scorch Trials began. On the other side, both Patricia Clarkson and Lil Taylor appeared in the TV series Six Feet Under. Number 21. According to the books, the rebellious group does not escape from Wicked until the third final movie. The Scorch Trials are actually just one more form of a trial for Wicked. This is one more huge difference from the book itself. Number 22. When Brenda and Thomas find themselves underneath a building together, they meet the undead. When these creatures awake, an alpha of some kind emerges in front of them. In the award-winning PS game called The Last of Us, a clicker, a character in the game, looks almost exactly as the alpha in the film. Number 23. On one occasion, Brenda mentions that her little brother was taken away from her and that his name was George. In The Maze Runner, Thomas stops in the woods at a grave with the name George on the tombstone. We're free to assume that this grave was Brenda's brother George. In the books, George was killed by Albie after being stung. Number 24. In the book, both Brenda and George are almost immune to the flare. Brenda is added as a new character when Teresa becomes extremely disliked because of a shocking act of betrayal. 
Why? Well, in the beginning of the movie, an eyeless crank woman is being seen with no eyes. Teresa tells Thomas that her mother clawed her own eyes out after being hit by the flare. Number 25. Movie Mistake Alert During the famous We Have Tried Everything dialogue, Newt explains that they couldn't climb to the top because the ivy didn't go all the way up. However, in multiple shots of the maze walls, we could clearly see that the ivy goes all the way to the top. So, what happened to building a ladder? The glade has plenty of trees, which means more than enough material to build a ladder, right?